Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler without a creek. I know, I look a little different, right? So today, we are actually doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually helping a employee of mine with a basement renovation. And we have torn out some walls. We've been doing a bunch of different things today. Uh, and this is something I think we're going to be doing for the rest of the rest of this week. Yeah, this week. We're going to finish it this week. Uh, next week, we got to start with some of our cleanup stuff. And uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing from you guys soon. But uh, I figured I'd let you guys take a gander at what we've been doing today. So all the way down here is uh, his process on what he's doing. This is actually his mom's house and, you know, kind of doing something nice for her. But uh, we'll get to that later. So this is actually because of a moisture t retendency problem that they're having outside which actually we will be taking care of this year and that's actually why we're here doing this because it needs to be done from the inside out and the outside in so we will get to outside in a minute but inside um i'll let jason talk about it for a little bit but um yeah you guys can see exactly what's going on so i'll hand you guys off to him so this was all, what you're seeing here was all an enclosed room. Um, when you have an enclosed room in your basement, okay, and you don't keep it heated properly, uh, you get moisture. And when there's no ventilation, you get mold. Okay, so that's what we're kind of looking at on this back wall here. So now that this is opened up and we have air rotation and we have air coming in, we will be sealing this with some dry lock from the inside. And like he said, outside, most of your problems, when you have a basement issue, you want to start your outside. You want to start with drainage. You want to figure out where your water is coming from. We'll start, we'll, we'll, we'll go there in a minute. All right, so now that this whole wall is ripped out, this wall here behind me, we're going to push this back, I think about 36 inches over, and we're going to build a pony wall, but it'll be like a countertop because this will be a dining room. And this room here will be, behind me, will be the kitchen. So we ripped this whole wall out here, except for the door frame. <laughs> but we ripped this whole wall out here, so this will be all open. So this whole spot will be all open area. It's very large, it's a very large area, okay? Now, here's the issue that I had. I didn't like, I knew we were gonna have it. But in the bottom here, as you can see, all of that is wet, molded garbage. Now we're gonna have to yank all that out and redo it. Now let me see this real quick. So again, 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 why do I always preach drainage to everyone? That, this is why correct drainage outside will save you money inside. inside. Always, 100%, yes. always, 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 guys. Perfect example of this, of what we are doing right now. A $5,000 outside job that will last upwards of 15 to 20 years, and maybe even at that point, all it is is you have to spray through those drainage pipes to clean them out, and they last another 10 years. So you're talking a 30-year process for $5,500, or you can come in and do this for about 16 to 18,000. Now, I understand yeah. some people really do want to redo their basement, but that's not the reason to start. That should be a reason. That should never be a reason. Should, you should never get to that point, nope. you guys. Nope, it shouldn't be. So, on that note, we're going to go outside and we're going to talk about why this is going to happen. All right. Don't mind the, uh, the mess. We've been busy, boys. So, we'll start down here. All right. As you can see, as we're walking, all of this is exposed brick. And as you can see, there's shapes of bricks here. And you can see the moisture coming through them. Now, if we focus in right here... If you look right here, that brick is exposed. It's all the mortar and all the grout and everything that they have, and it's all holding water all the way around. So it this is when front. we were talking about sealing it, we're talking about sealing the outside as well as the inside, because you can't just seal the inside and hope everything is gonna be perfect, all good and glory and say, oh, I did the inside, there's no more mold. You're gonna get mold again. You're going to get mold because this outside hasn't been taken care of yet. So with that, we are doing drainage all the way through <laughs> this driveway area. And we're actually going to start in this corner and run a pipe all the way down 
and around and right around to where we just were. Out back, we are actually gonna be creating a wedged drain pipe. So that was where another pipe comes down, it splits into a Y and it force suctions its way out of the yard. But the big key up here is somewhere in this area, we're gonna be doing a catch can or a catch drain. And the reason why we're doing that is to catch all of the water that's coming from there down to here and forcing it through all of this all the way down there. That's the best way to get the water out of here and save it before it tries to go into the brick. Now we'll also be putting in um, a lot of bushes, uh, rhododendras, dogwoods, rose bushes. Reason being is because even when we put the drainage in, when you get moisture again up against this brick wall you actually have something to suck that up and and hold it and it gives it a reason to hold it there instead of it just sitting here for absolutely no reason yeah. not to mention we have um some of those problems to yeah, deal that with but that, that's a whole nother video to talk about but on that note this is just the intro video um this is kind of right before the estimate we've already kind of talked with everybody about things but once we start this job you guys will get a full walkthrough, probably a day by day uh but we look forward to hearing from you guys thanks Thank <laughs> you.